DDR back. Okay, my two weeks that I said it would take to get to ballasting was compressed into two days. Actually, only an hour yesterday on the siding, or 40 minutes, I think it was, 45 minutes. Today, we spent an hour on the main track. And I just felt it. It's pretty solid. There's some wet. The middle's still kind of damp because I soaked that on the main track here close to us. So I let it dry overnight, then I'll clean it out again and vacuum it, run the gauge through and scrape it. So we tried to vary it. You can see there on the back siding how the ballast is down away from the ties more away from the rail. Tried to vary that so it wasn't like a perfect, so it's got some time on it, some age from settling. Now let's, let's come up here. You can see the siding back there is kind of different in the middle, rough looking, not so maintained. The back two tracks is what we're looking at. Then I had to fill all this down here in front, or big drop off there. Fill that all in. Always worry about that when I'm applying the glue. Yeah, so we went all the way on this side of the switch. That's all I can do. Right up over the. Made sure I just checked all the throws are free as can be. And even this fill is pretty dry already. Filled in the back again, some more re glued some. So very pleased. I clean I put dry down, then I scrape it out with my track gauge. Run it back and forth till I make all the rails clear. But when you put the liquid in, sometimes stuff floats up. And you gotta go back and clear that after it's dry. And then then we'll back it out. And we gotta clean the tops because we got glue on the track. I checked power. It's there, but it's intermittent. You have to find a good spot, conductive. It'll be fine. Already ran a local back through the siding this morning before I did the main. And this stuff here is gonna come out. I still went around it, filled it all in on the back side. So there we come up all the way to the bridge. It's zoomed all the way, that's all I can do. So there we go, and I have to back out the track on this side that's loose, not glued. I'll let it dry more before I start vacuuming everything up. So pretty happy. Got that project knocked out in two days, about two hours total. And yeah, I like that right there where it's settled away from the rail and the rail looks black, which is really brown, dark brown, just the lighting. So that's pretty cool. You can tell it's a newer balance compared to the old main lines up here. How they look rusty brown. I'm not sure that, yeah, there's ballast there, but I've had to do some of that track over again. But I see ballast in there. It's old and rusty brown debris. Been there a long time. <clears throat> Excuse me, been there a long time. So, next thing we'll be doing track wise, taking that switch out. Let's see, those two come out start there then build back come down here that comes out converting from atlas to picos and then we got one see one down there and one back here which is new but I've had so much trouble with and i'm taking them out not even wasting time ballasting till i get the picos in so there you have it Zoom back. Looks pretty good back there. 
Okay, guys. There's your update. Keep it to five minutes. Take care. Have a great weekend. Got storms coming here in a while. Double Diamond Railroad out.